everybody, Oracle Funf here playing Odyssey. I think I figured out the solution to this puzzle. Maybe. See, uh, in the previous uh, puzzle, I did uh, one type of eclipse, but there are two types of eclipses solar eclipses and lunar eclipses. So it looks like the lunar eclipse is the one where the sun is really blocking the moon. Kind of, it's the shadow of the earth really is what's going on. In any case, uh, I set up this machine so it looks like that. So it is a, a lunar eclipse, not a solar eclipse. Therefore, I can uh, solve this particular puzzle. So during the lunar eclipse, which I have set up, it looks like the moon is... Where is that moon? Looks like the moon is facing whatever constellation that is. I can't quite see it from here. So it's that constellation, the one with two feet at the bottom, right? Yep. Okay, so it's the one with two feet. So I'm gonna insert that solution on to this device. Okay, so two feet, there we go. All right, so um, the completely dark thing would be Gemini, so let me pull Gemini up. Where is Gemini? There's Gemini. Okay, so waxing um, is gonna be I need to do a solar eclipse here just because there was a solar eclipse earlier on this week. Wow, okay, so this looks like new areas for us to explore. Obviously, I'm gonna have to solve that puzzle before I can um, explore this area fully. So it looks like another puzzle where I, I have fun with astronomy. to stay with me until mom and dad and the other person came in for the night. So, by turning the crank we can make both eclipses. Moon casting its shadow on the earth and the earth casting its shadow on the moon and each one opens one of the two doors. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is a complicated. Okay, and I showed how the flat earth a vertical stripe on the moon. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, let's start puzzle number one, which is simply solar eclipse, the one which happened earlier this week. Yay. So as you can see, um, solar eclipse, you need to be in a very specific place on the earth in order to see the solar eclipse, because the moon has to be right in between the sun and so obviously these people who are uh you know in brazil i think that's brazil so obviously they wouldn't be able to see it the the moon is completely on the wrong area for them okay so Exits clearly opened up by a lunar eclipse, and 
I am I I do not see anything here that I can uh mess around with. So let's go the other way. Let's make the other type of eclipse. I like the little stars here too. That's cool. Anyway. <laughs> Because the Earth is a lot bigger than the Moon, in case you didn't know that. Okay, so this opens up this area, ooh, where I think I've got another puzzle that I can walk out here. It looks like I could have traveled those steps at some point in time, and it looks like this leads to a zip line. I bet I have to solve the final puzzle before I can, yep, have to solve the final puzzle before I can use this zip line. Okay, let's go back here, let's finish our uh, exploration into the world of ancient astronomy. This is the puzzle he was talking about earlier, the flat line, right? up so I can take it, right? Good, good. So fancy. Well, it's a zippity doo dah day as I, uh, as I land here on this next. Island. Ooh, what's this? Landed right next to a building, which is clearly locked. Hmm. Okay, we've got solar panels here, so it's uh, like the other building, I suppose. Let's see if I can shimmy my way through here. Oh, I'd be able to jump that in real life. Oh, here we go. What? Okay. pushing the button. on it with nothing but tables and barrels. There's an old well. We might look into it if we need fresh water. Maybe. Hmm. So it's about stars. We've got the log. Okay. I'll read this all in the next video, okay? See you then, everybody.